what can you do to try to pick up the guys around you and keep things positive? I'm looking down this tunnel, I'm the last guy in there, and there's 70,000 screaming fans out there, and a couple million on TV. I'm checking the back of my jersey to see if my name's on there. Yeah, it is, I'm not dreaming. This is what I had pretended about, getting introduced in front of your home crowd. And when he introduced me, he put that little extra mustard on it, and he said, and now Villanova University and Wilmington, Delaware, captain of the special teams, our own Kevin Riley. I came out of that shoot, I don't even remember my feet touching the ground. Five years later to the exact date, I wake up, finally outside of intensive care in Sloan Kettering Hospital in New York City, minus the left arm, a left shoulder, and four ribs. That's a prosthetic device, it's made of Kevlar. You know what Kevlar is? Bulletproof. If I'm ever in a fight in a bar in Southie, I'm leading with this shoulder. I wasn't the average guy on the street. I fell really far from being a professional athlete who was really proud of his body and being in shape to now missing most of the left side of my body. The morning started out with me having a lot of negative thoughts. How would I recover? How would I make a living? I had children that were two, one, and infant at the time. You'll never be able to tie, tie shoes again. It can't be done one hand, but believe me, I've been trying for 25 years. And then he asked me to pull on his tie, and at that point I was really glad he didn't ask me to pull on his finger, but I, I pulled on his tie, and it was one of those clip-on ties that I had worn to school. And I said, why will I need clip-on ties? He said, you'll never be able to tie your tie again. It can't be done one hand. That believe me, I've been trying for 25 years. One of the things that I was told very, very early on by Rocky Blyer, Consistent persistence uh, after you fail is really something that many people don't have in their you know, skill sets. We're in a recession right now and so many people feel like they're victims and they're waiting for the recession to be over. Why wait? What are you doing to better yourself? Take a class, something you always wanted to do. The human spirit is tougher than anything that can happen to it. If you combine that with consistent persistence somewhere deep down, you have the gumption, you have the courage, you have the fortitude to make things better. As a result of losing my arm, I've got this tremendous opportunity now of going around the country being a motivational speaker. And I get to talk to people about overcoming obstacles. And if I can help people just to see that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that sometimes bad things happen that result in very good future endeavors, then I want to get that message out to everybody.